Hello, in this video I'm going to show you best AI tricks for daily use on iPhone 17. Okay, first let's open up the settings because we need to uh, turn on our AI first. It's called the Apple Intelligence. To turn it on, scroll down a little bit and find Apple Intelligence and Siri. Make sure that it's enabled and also really important thing, uh, you need to make sure that your region is uh, selected into United States. Uh, before, before I have changed that, uh, the Apple Intelligence didn't want to work at all. Uh, to change it, simply go back, find general options, scroll down a little bit until you find language and region and make sure that the region is United States. And then everything should work properly. Now we can go into Apple Intelligence and Siri, make sure that it's enabled. Also, if you are turning it on for the first time, uh, it needs to download in the background. It might take a little bit, so simply be patient and wait until everything gets installed. Okay, down below we have the Siri request, we have the settings, we can select the language. Down below we have talk and type to Siri options. And now we can launch Siri remotely by saying one of those sentences, Siri or Hey Siri. Uh, in my case currently it's turned off, so let's select Hey Siri maybe. Uh, and now everything should uh, work. Now we can launch Siri by simply saying this sentence. We also have press side button for Siri and we can also type to Siri. Uh, to enable tap to Siri, we need to double tap the bottom edge of our phone right in here. And now we can type to Siri using our keyboard and ask her about anything or tell her to do some things. For example, you can see that we can send an email using the Siri. Okay, but, but uh, let's get back into the settings. We also have the side button. Okay, and now Siri is registering my voice. When you can see those colors on the edge of the phone, it means that Siri is now launched and it's registering my voice and it's waiting for the command. Okay, and now let's launch her by saying this sentence. So, hey Siri. Hey Siri. Oh, it didn't want to work. I think that we need to record the voice hey siri a weird thing hey siri okay uh, i had to unselect it and then select it uh, we have to set up the siri first so now we need to say those sentences that we have on the screen hey siri how's the weather hey siri how's the weather Hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, get directions home. Hey Siri, play some music. Okay, and now our voice has been registered. So now let's try to launch the Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Okay, now it has launched. All right, so now we can see that it's uh, successfully launching. We can also let Siri um, to be launched uh, when the phone is locked. And we can also change the voice of the Siri. Okay, down below we have the Siri responses. You can also show a transcription of your speech on the screen if you enable that function. If you are interested, uh, okay. In here, I'll also be able to see the history. Okay, so now let me show you a few things uh, that you can do um, thanks to the Siri, uh, and we can do a lot of things. Basically, uh, we can ask her um, basically about anything that we want. We can also give her some um, task, just like it was on that preview when I was registering my voice. So we can play some music. We can send a message. Uh, we can set an alarm remotely. Uh, so now let's try to do some of those things. So let's launch the Siri. Hey Siri. Set an alarm at 4 p.m. and name it do the groceries. Thank you, Siri. Okay. 
As you could see, the alarm has been successfully set, but let's also launch our clock app just to make sure that it has been mm, added. So let's go into alarms and you can see 4 p.m. do the groceries. Everything has been successfully uh, added. So that's uh, an example. Uh, let's do something else now. Mm, let's try to add a reminder maybe. And here we have the reminders app. We don't need to do this manually. Let's use Siri for it. Okay, so let's go. Hey Siri. Please uh, add a reminder. Uh, the date is 26th of December and name that reminder. Uh, do the laundry. Thank you, Siri. Okay, let's launch the reminders app. And just to make sure. Okay, let's go into our reminders and we have do the laundry. Everything has been successfully added. Of course, for example, uh, you can add events into your calendar. Mm, you can uh, ask Siri to uh, launch something or ask her about questions based, uh, not the based, about the history, about anything, basically. Uh, Okay, another example. Uh, let's say that uh, we are planning a trip into, let's say that we live in US, we want to come to Europe into, we want to visit Italy, let's say. Uh, the currency in Italy is Euro uh, and we have to, you know, uh, change some dollars into Euro. And we are wondering, uh, how many euros we'll get. Let's say that our budget is, that we want to uh, change uh, $1,000 uh, $1, into euros. Uh, and let's ask Siri how, uh, how much euros we will get. Hey Siri, how many euros is $1,000? Okay, and now as you can see, we have our answer. Thank you, Siri. So that's how you can use the Siri. Really, really useful tool. I highly recommend using it from time to time. And it's also uh, really fun. We can even remotely launch apps. So let's try to launch the camera app maybe. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Launch camera app. As you can see, it worked. Okay, uh, when it comes to other things, mm, good for daily use, uh, we have the AA camera, it's called the visual intelligence. Uh, to launch it, we need to tap uh, the uh, side button right in here, under power button, to launch this mode. Uh, sometimes you need to uh, repeat it. Actually, you need to hold a little bit because sometimes a uh, normal camera app launches. Okay, now we have this mode, we have our camera uh, that is launched. In here we have the ask function and search function. But first let's tap on the shutter button. Uh, but first let's take a picture of something. Uh, in here next to me I have a stream deck. So let's take a photo of it. Oh, weird thing. Okay, now it uh, it took a good photo. Now we can translate the text that we have on the screen. Click on continue. In here you can select the languages, but first you'll have to download them. Right in here. You'll be able to translate the things. Now it has been recognized as uh, Portuguese, weird thing. In here also you can see the languages. Let's select the Polish maybe. You can also copy the translation if you are interested. Uh, you know what, actually, to use the translate function, uh, I will 
launch a page on my computer. So it will be much, much easier. Uh, okay. I would like to have uh, a random thing. Okay, I have something. Uh, so now I will take a picture of the text. Uh, the normal text is currently in English, so let's try to translate uh, translate it into a different uh, language. Uh, first, I need to select the text, just like that, manually. Uh, click on the arrow to expand and click on translate. Okay, and now uh, the text that has been in English has been translated into Portuguese, in my example. If you click on, uh, not that, my bad. In here you can change the language. Uh, so now uh, let's translate it into Japanese maybe. Oh, it's not available at the moment. So let's pick another uh, language. Oh, actually it worked. I should take a look. So everything has been translated successfully. Really cool thing. So that's how it works. Uh, also, you can click on the search icon uh, and it will uh, search for the things in the Google based on uh, the photo. So let's say that uh, we are seeing something for the first time. Let's say that we have found uh, something that looks cool, we would like to buy it, but we don't know how is this called. So all we need to do is to use our visual intelligence uh, and then use the search function. But first we need to place mm, our camera on that object. Uh, again, I will use the stream deck for it. Click on the search, click on continue. And now we have the results in Google based on the photo that we have just taken. Really useful feature to find something in the internet. The thing that we don't know uh, how it's called or what it is actually. It will simply give us the answer. Really useful. Uh, we also have the ask option on the left side. Click on continue and we can ask the ChatGPT about the details, what it sees on the screen and it says that it's Elgato Stream Deck, so it's uh, giving us the answer. I highly recommend using that. Really, really cool thing. All right, but I'll leave it to you to find out the other features when it comes to the uh, visual intelligence. Now let's go straight into notes because in here we also have some cool things. Um, let's create a new note maybe. Okay, and uh, when it comes to AI, we have this icon right in here. We need to tap on it and we have the writing tools. So we can describe what we want to change. We have also the proofread function. We can rewrite the text, make it more friendly, make it more professional. We can concise it. We can summarize it, add some key points, make a list of the text and also create a table. If you click on compose, you can compose the text with the chat GPT. Uh, currently, I don't have any text, but don't worry. We can also uh, generate it using the chat GPT. Uh, so let's say that uh, we want to have a really quick uh, recipe for a breakfast. Mm, and let's uh, ask the chat GPT for mm, an idea for our breakfast. Let's also add that uh, we are a vegetarian, so we don't eat meat. Uh, let's uh, add that detail into ChatGPT and it will generate our meal. So let's write mm, 
give me a recipe for a breakfast uh, I am vegetarian so it will be without meat let's wait a little bit until it's generated and you can see that we have a beautiful beautiful recipe it looks really really nice it took less than five seconds and now all we need to do is to go to the shop and buy the products that we need really useful thing okay let's try to use other features uh, for example let's make it more professional okay it has been successfully generated if you want to save the changes click on that icon really useful thing let's generate another note uh, using the using the chat okay and now maybe let's do something else let's generate an article about history of the Apollo program, the, the space program of United States in 20th uh, century. So uh, write an article about Apollo US program. Okay, it will be generated, so we need to wait a little bit. Okay, it appeared. You can see that it's pretty long. Click on the icon to save it. Now let's use other functions. You can see that it's actually pretty long. Really useful thing. In here you can manually describe your change, what you want to do with that text. Uh, so now, let's, for example, let's make a list. Oh, something lacked, but I think that it's because it's being generated. Oh, the notes app has lacked. <laughs> so let's do it once again. No, oh, weird thing. Oh, no. No, not now. Okay, again. List. Okay, now it worked perfectly. Okay, if you want to save it, click on that icon. Now, for example, let's try to make it more professional. Okay, but when it comes to that, uh, I don't see big changes. I highly recommend trying all of those features on your own. Alright, and that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.